Ah, there it is. Dispense in case of rodents. Exactly what I'm looking for, some medicine. Wait, wait a minute. How do they, how do they eat these? Is it a suppository? You mean I have to catch them and shove it? No, no, none of that. We're looking at the, uh, the CCI shot shell and 22 long rifle. We'll be testing this in a Ruger 1022. I've tested the CCI shot shells in a variety of handgun calibers. I have videos posted on those. Just didn't realize for some reason they had these in 22 long rifle. So I picked up a couple of boxes locally at the gun store. You get 20 rounds per box, and I'm paying $7 for those 20 rounds. It is a pest control load. Do not recommend this at all for self-defense, whether it's out of a rifle or a handgun. You can see it's a 31 grain load. 1,000 feet per second advertised, and number 12 shot. So very, very small pellets. And according to the packaging, there are approximately 165 of those in each cartridge. To give you a size comparison, this is a Federal 36 grain uh, hollow point. You can see the comparison there. And also over here, looks like that uh, these are just a little bit shorter. So we're going to try to cycle these in uh, a rapid semi-auto mode out of the Ruger 1022. Also look at some dispersion patterns from various distances and see what I can find as far as some penetration test. I have three of these 8 inch targets. We're going to shoot them at 5, 10, and 15 feet from the muzzle. Close range. And just based on a quick assessment of those shots, this is at three feet. Working backwards on the review, at 15 feet we have approximately 18 pellets in the black. On the 10 feet, a few more, but still a very wide dispersion. At five feet, I'm counting approximately 90 pellets that are all in the black. Nothing, it seems, on the uh, perimeter. And then at three feet, the tightest group. Everything's coming in pretty much in the 8, 9, and 10 zone, but again, uh, in the ballpark of 90 pellets. So remember that claim on the packaging, 165 pellets, seems to be way off. So I cut one open, and I counted 107 pellets, and they are various sizes. Check that out. So the claim of 165 seems to be a little high, don't you think? I have a one-gallon water jug set up five feet from the muzzle. No major damage to the jug, and it looks like a majority of the 90 or so pellets made it through. With regard to cycling in the Ruger 1022, I have 10 rounds in the box magazine. Here we go. They're not cycling, there's just not enough power, and that's been the case throughout this entire test. For this last test, I have a small chunk of the SimTest ballistic media I use for handgun ammo testing. This is about four inches in length. I'll be set up at five feet. If you recall from a moment ago, we have various size pellets in these shot shells. The smallest are coming in at seven eighths of an inch, up to one and one eighth inches, and the deepest is one and three eighths. Here is my diagnosis. You may have already noted that these are very much underpowered compared to other CCI loads. And dispersion, four different targets, and even at our closest three feet, we still have about a six or seven inch dispersion pattern here. Penetration, about an inch on average. That's what you're going to expect. That will be sufficient, uh, maybe, on a rodent at close range, but definitely not for two-legged self-defense purposes. I cannot advocate that at all. So if you absolutely have to dispatch a rodent at close range and you're using these shot shells, make certain that you understand the strengths and weaknesses of your prescription. Thanks for watching.